But while we're on the subject of like your methods and what Bill Miller taught you and then what you learned from Steve Mead and stuff, uh, what do you do now then? So you get your euphonium out in the morning. What's the first 10, 15 minutes of your, of your sort of getting your chops going? Uh, well, um, <clears throat> something that irritates my wife a, a, a lot is that I'm definitely a, a man of habit and, and um, I do, I do um, uh, the, the same things kind of every day. And especially now in lockdown, that I'm obviously doing all my practice at home. So she yeah. has to listen to the same thing. <laughs> Um, so the first 20 minutes of, of what I do every, every day is is absolutely identical um, and uh, and then um, things th things go off uh, with whatever I need then but um, I've kind of got a, 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 a cyclic approach um, in that I do a little bit of breathing and then a little bit of um, flexibility and then a little bit of tongue and then a little bit of fingers um, and then I kind of go back again and I go do a breathing exercise and, and go back through that cycle several times and do that in 20 minutes um, the reason why I, I think um, I get, uh, I think I get, although I, I guess I, I've learned to concentrate over a long period of time, but um, I get bored quite quickly. And so I don't like to spend, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't bear the idea of doing like 20 minutes long notes or I, 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 I don't know. So I prefer just to do bite sized chunks of this, that and the other. Uh, and, um, and, and then it kind of keeps my, my mind engaged and, and, uh, and all of that kind of thing. So um, although, although I've just said that I do exactly the same 20 minutes every day, um, it, it means that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty quickly. I mean, even within the first, I don't know, six or seven minutes, I've gone through that first cycle. Uh, okay. it, means that it, it feels like things are kind of up and running and, and, uh, and ready. Um, so just to stop you there hang on a minute right so because yeah. we've got lots of geeks and because we've all got so much time to practice at the moment all oh, right and okay. i'm proud to say there's lots of practice going on which is great i know what... i've watched i've watched your arbor video there so. you go you see <laughs> told you i'd send it in <laughs> so yeah it's good isn't it it's really good yeah, well that, thank you to will watson for putting that together it was awesome uh so uh what are those exercises in your first six or seven minutes are they from books are they ones that you've just made up yourself but like what specifically or the ones that we could all turn to that you could say, oh, you want to try that one or that one? Um, uh, well, I, I, I tell you what I'll, I'll, I'll do if you, re if you really want to be geeky about it. I'll, yeah. I'll just I'll, I've got them all written down. I'll share them on the screen if you want. Ah, yeah, there you go. That's it. OK, so um, uh, so I, I, I'll, 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 I'll literally first thing I'll do is just some breathing without the instrument. And then I'll do the, um, a tiny little bit, bit of buzzing without the mouth. Uh, sorry, with the mouthpiece. Uh, just Notice how everyone's the... taking quick photos, Dave. Quick, yes. get it. <laughs> <laughs> People have told me I should I should um, publish this in a book and stuff, but I just yeah, you should. I've never got really got round to it. Uh, uh, and then some so, some some basic long notes, but all low C uh, um, down down to pedal C. Just just getting the breathing system woken up, and uh, again the capacity feel feel that um, amount of air both. Um, being taken on board and leaving the body in the right way, relaxed posture, all, all that normal stuff it says there in the text as well. So I've been using this for. Um, That's brilliant, yeah. Um, there we go. Easy flexibilities. So slightly pretentious titles. Uh, easy flexibilities? <laughs> uh, question mark. Uh, just making those sound as beautiful as possible. So um, not. Um, not, not beauty in terms of vibrato or, or, or anything like that, but um, you know, just just as pure sound, as smooth as possible. Um, yeah. Good air going through the instrument, um, in tune. So really critical listening to the tuning, making sure those those fifths are as, as accurate as accurate as they possibly can, um, so while still keeping a, you know a good um, eye on the. Uh, um, uh, posture and, and nice and relaxed. When I'm at college, of course, a lot of the practice rooms have, have mirrors in them, so it's, it's very uh, easy to kind of notice the posture that you're playing with, the position of the hand, and, and, and when you're breathing. I've got an awful habit. I don't mind me mind you telling me uh, uh, telling you my bad habits. An awful habit of breathing through. I like Popeye breathing through one side <laughs> of my, my my mouth like that. Um, I don't know where that started or when it when it um, comes, uh, but. Um, I have to, uh, one of the first things in the morning is I, I try to make sure I'm not. not doing that. So that kind of hopefully sets me up in some ways for the rest of the day. Anyway, uh, 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 flexibility is some slightly harder stuff. So stay with that for a couple of minutes. Uh, just some scales, production stuff. You can see um, a bit further down if I just make that a bit bigger. Um, 
uh, then I'm, uh, halfway down that I start to add some accents into there. So it's 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 um, kind of when I say production, it's kind of like an exploration of how the tongue and the air and the uh, coordination with the valves, all of that starts yeah. to happen. So when you yeah. add the accents in, obviously you're changing the air speeds um, yeah. uh, and, and the action of the tongue. So it's starting to to wake all that kind of thing up. How that sounds. Um, hope that sounds logical. And yeah, no, uh, going going through the, uh, the scalic stuff. Um, the finger studies, to be honest, because um, I was handing this out, I didn't want to copy something that was straight out of a book. I normally do the Vizuti ones that look a lot like this, but yeah, um, yeah. but but aren't. Uh, so I've kind of done my own there. But to be honest, I don't I don't play these. I, I do the uh, <laughs> I, do, I do the Vizuti ones because they're probably better. But I I just did it so I didn't have to, uh, um, you know avoiding copyright and all that kind of thing but the point is whether you're doing these or the Vasutis um, you're doing very smooth scales it don't, doesn't in fact it's better if it's not fast go nice and slow make sure it's beautifully smooth and, and more importantly you, you're habitually making the fingers work in a very rhythmically even way so when you come to a, a phrase at band or in, in a solo or whatever, then the finger, fingers are used to working in a very rhythmic kind of articulate way. And that comes from these um, these exercises. Um, uh, yeah. So I mean, uh, what I love about everything that you've just said. So we've had Gordon Campbell and Mike love it. And last week we had Carol Jarvis, who yeah. I know, you know, and you've all same, said the same stuff pretty much, which is brilliant, you know, because that's what I need. I need and whatever it, it just proves that you know to get the very best it's all about the air it's about making beautiful sound and the sound intonation breathing uh air speed and then obviously all the stuff you've just been saying about the valves and same with the trombone as well so it's great to hear all those messages you know yeah. and also lovely to see what you actually do you know that's fantastic <laughs> yeah. well, no it is it's brilliant um, and the, I think the important thing in there is um, that I do try and make, I've heard people talk about this slightly differently, but I do try and make the best sound I possibly can straight away from the word go. Yeah. I don't think, oh, it's, it's, it's half seven in the morning or, or whatever. I don't, I'm not that bothered at the moment. Um, but for, for number one priority is get the air moving. Number two uh, priority is, is make the best sound I possibly can. It's amazing yeah. when I start lessons with students, even students that I work with for quite some time, and they play through a couple of phrases of a study or a piece or whatever. And it's, it's a simple first instruction from me is right, let's go back use your ears use your brain and let's play it with the best quality sound you possibly can um, yeah. why why is it what why why should we have to ask ourselves to do that it's, it sounds strange doesn't it you know you've got um a, a, a ferrari or a, a, a mini metro parked outside which one you're going to drive to work in um well, I, don't, I don't know but do, do you know what I mean? you've got, you've got a rubbish analogy but you've got to, you, you you want to choose um you want to choose the best one so um it's uh that that's just logical um i think to, to me i think it's brilliant that you know you've brought up that word sound because that's just so important isn't it it's the most important thing so you mentioned about your students one question that i had written down what are the three words that you repeat the most in your lessons then so if you've got students what are the three words that you probably use the most in your teaching uh oh well probably um air sound and listen yeah great love it <laughs> so um, if, I, if, if i had to choose if i had to choose so in fact um actually it reminds me I, very often i start master classes um in whatever kind of situation with um actually not quite those words i i use um sound listen and rhythm uh, as the as the, okay. as the as the as the basis of of, of the master class and we, we, we start with breathing stuff and then we go on and do various things but but talk about it within the context of beautiful sound and then introduce rhythm and, and do ensemble things as well so um, it, you kind of get this you kind of get a, a general master class so we're talking about everything in between but um, it's all all under the heading of those three words so it, it just it means we've got structure and stuff but um, yeah. so may, maybe I should change it to those three words seeing as that's what I've been using. <laughs>